This is only going to stay on here temporary because as soon as I get my truck that I'm making a trade for, y'all know nothing about yet. That'll be in another video to come. Real soon. Give me about two weeks waiting for the title to come back in for one of my cars. already made a deal with the gentleman in Houston who posed a trade for a truck it's a classic truck don't worry nothing new and uh, so more than likely these or something else will end up going on the truck all right guys check it out i finally got the bodywork on the fender done got it into a uh, red primer it's just now drying i'm gonna give that a wet sand and uh, make sure all the body works good on it anything i might have to fix just a little bit of skim you know and uh, but it looks a lot better now Okay, just left discount tire. What do you think? Doesn't look too bad, huh? I like it. So we're over here at my buddy's house. Me and Justin was gonna start messing with the car and uh, see how it goes. It's running now. Well, at least you got time to work on your own stuff. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Get some gasoline. We're going to crank it up. Inside, they sell the racing fuel and cans. Because these old cars weren't meant to run off ethanol. And dead battery. Dun, 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 dun. 1970. It's a 70, right? 1970 Chevelle. I'm over back at E&A with Chewy. Dropping the convertible off. Let me show you the parts I got right quick. I got out your hair. I know you're busy. Yeah, I'll grab the battery. Bam. And I was just leaving a can in case you needed it. 
course, like I said, I might be back tomorrow anyway. There's a battery in it. I gotta take that out. Put this one in. It was just a little small battery that I had. <laughs> we was so trying to. Wasn't getting no cranking, huh? Well, it wasn't doing nothing at all. Okay. Plus, the, the wires are cut. Small battery. Yeah. Nah, it's probably not enough to crank it over. I got wires. Uh, the cap. Right mm -hmm. We put a new starter on it. We got these just in case just under the dash. Yeah. Uh, that. Sea foam. I got some cleaner. I figured you'd want that to spray everywhere. And da -da -da. Turn it, over. It, it never, it, you yeah. do the key, it does nothing. And then you can see, I mean, I've, I've cut most of his stuff out down there. But it's a ranch nest, kind of. He had alarm, uh, remote start, Security keyless entry, system. door poppers. Yeah, it was... It was almost like he had it for a show for a ride around. Yeah, he was trying to show car it. So I just started disconnecting a few things and then uh, we tried to look at the diagram, watch some YouTube videos, but we're, uh, we're not auto electricians, so. But an old car like this, it's fairly simple, it says, you know, the wiring diagram is fairly simple. Yeah. yeah it's still got the car alarm in it, that's gonna have to come out. You do. I don't. <laughs> Got a new ignition and key right there. We'll have to put that in because the key won't even come out. It's stuck in it. get this thing running and driving I've made a deal with the gentleman in Houston and uh, I just got to assure him the motor transmission rear end everything's okay so we're gonna get it running a lot driving and uh, I'm gonna go make a deal with that guy Chewy's got this 85 custom deluxe rebuilt 350 in it flatbed cool little work truck no ac even though it is an ac truck just have to get that hooked up okay here we are pumping any bad gas out of the tank can't see nathan uh-oh there's justin Sitting here purring. 
Looking good. Not bad for a first start. Just sitting here. Sounds like she should. So far, I don't see nothing wrong with it. She's running kind of quiet. Still got them dual exhausts though. Yeah. 